Today we're going to order labs. We use a bi-directional lab interface from LabDAC. This allows our results to come back quickly and show up on the L button. We have opportunities to save time with templates or creating a lab requisition form. Let's look at the places that we can order labs. Let's go to the treatment window. We can notice that labs can be ordered in a lab requisition form here to the far right. Or there's a couple beakers here with blood and urine. And there's a browse button next to this lab window that shows you where what labs are pending. Let's click on the requisition form. This looks like a work form that you might have used on paper. Let's give it a diagnosis and I'll order that uh, hemoglobin A1C. And let's see, let's do a cam panel and we'll save that. It's, uh, for the lipids, let's give the hyper hyperlipidemia. We'll check a lipid panel and save and close. Now those labs are ordered. We can see that here. Let's click on the beaker. Well, let's, there's, we can choose the beaker or the lab browse button, but we'll choose the beakers here. And here, there are those labs that we ordered. You can see that they have the proper diagnosis associated. Uh, same thing happens if we click here on this browse button next to the lab window. Exact same window. But let's say we're not in the treatment uh, window at all. Let's go back to the main progress note. If we look down a little bit, there's a hyperlink that says lab reports. You can also order labs here. So let's click there. And we get the identical same window. Let's, uh, as an example, order a couple more labs. Let's say we wanted to do some thyroid tests. So we'll do a free T4. Uh, and we'll do a TSH. Give it a diagnosis, click OK, and let's transmit this to our lab through our interface. We just click Quick Transmit. We can assign it to a different doctor if we want, but if we leave it blank, it comes back to me. We click Transmit, we're done. The lab now has those orders ready to put on the machines. We can click this hyperlink to see what his, uh, that test has been uh, resulting in the past, or we can click up here on this labs area up here. We can see all of the lab studies ever ordered on this patient, and we can sort them out. Uh, here's just the chemistries. If we want to look at just the hematology tests, uh, we can click here. And if we want to look at uh, the lab review window for a test that uh, is pending here, we can just double click there and there's the review window. Uh, we'll get into this when we get into reviewing lab results next video. Okay, let's do a template. Oh wait, before that, we'll, we'll uh, check on the billing. Did we bill for this? Yes, we did. That was all included in the whole ordering process. Now let's look at a template. Uh, this is another patient. We'll go down to the template button and we'll ch check one of our preformed templates that we've created. This is for type 1 diabetes. The nurses usually do this one for me. And we'll just click uh, Merge Template. Not only did it merge all the pieces that I normally merge, but also here are the labs. We don't even have to go through the lab ordering process at all. They're all included already. There they are with the appropriate diagnosis. So that's about it. Very simple. We can either transmit or click OK. Thanks for watching, and video two is how to review labs.